Hi, this is Bruce Boys from Homes and Life. A little while ago I did a video about our camping, our RV trailer. And I thought what I'd do is I'd show you what we tow our trailer with. So I'd like to introduce you to my 2014 Chev Silverado 1500. It's not a new vehicle by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's six years old now, but it's a 1500. So it's just a half ton. But it does have a few things that are important as far as towing a trailer with it. The one thing is, in the end, the engine in this truck is a 5.3 liter. So it's about 355 horsepower, a fair bit of get up and go. In addition, it's got a six speed automatic transmission. Now, often when people are towing with a half ton truck, they tend to forget about one thing and that's down near the bottom there there's an automatic transmission cooler which this truck comes with um, if you were towing on a hot day and going up a hill your transmission is going to get pretty warm so a transmission cooler is quite important also inside this truck it's got a number of options although it's not the trailer towing package it has a number of the options that are there for trailer towing one of which is the built-in brake control it's very handy you can adjust it right on the dash and the readout shows you where you are it shows you how intense a brake application you're doing works out very well also with GM they have a, a trailer towing mode for the transmission so when it's in the trailer towing mode it changes the shift points uh, to make it a little more effective as far as towing. And we discovered that in going down a long hill, that transmission will also shift down to hold you back from going too fast. Last summer, we went for a road trip through Alberta, BC, Montana, and Idaho. And throughout the whole trip, our average was 12 miles per gallon. So I think that that engine transmission combination works out quite well. Although there is one other thing to take in consideration when you are towing, and that's the axle ratio. If you got a GM with the max tow package, it would have, I believe they call it a 3.73 axle ratio, which is great for towing but your engine's going a little bit faster if you're wanting to do highway speeds empty. This particular truck is a 3.42 ratio, so it's good for being on the highway empty. And with that kind of horsepower, it manages just fine with our trailer, uh, with the up and down on the hills. Another thing that we've appreciated with this truck is the towing mirrors. They're a big mirror with turn signals and lights in them, and the bottom section is a convex mirror, so you have very little in the way of blind spots. And just pull them, and they pop out about three inches for additional visibility. With that, you can usually see down the side of your trailer. This truck has a standard box with the crew cab. So we can carry five adults if we wish to. And then six foot six box, at least we can carry some pieces of wood with it. Now, it was a used truck when I bought it and it came with an airbag suspension in the back. Somebody had put in there, but they had not maintained that airbag suspension. So we pulled that out and we had them put in rubber block suspension. I'll see if I can show it to you here. Yeah, there it is. So it does not increase the carrying capacity. It just takes some of the pressure off of the springs. Another thing to keep in mind is this is only a half ton truck. It's not meant to carry a lot of weight. Inside the front door, you'll find a sticker and it tells you how much weight this truck can carry, which in our case is about 1,528 pounds, I think it is. That's the passengers, the fuel, whatever you carry in the box, 
plus the tongue weight of your trailer. So although it'll pull a lot of weight, uh, the tongue weight is one of the things you have to keep in mind. Normally a trailer is about 10 to 15% of its weight on the tongue. So add that into your passenger weight and see where you come up with. We do use a weight distributing hitch which takes some of the weight off of the back and spreads it to the front. So that's a big help. Another thing we've learned the hard way is with half ton trucks, sometimes what they've got is more of a heavy duty car tire. So if you're pulling a trailer, you should have a proper truck tire on there. That can make quite a difference. All right, so there you've had a quick overview of our particular old truck we use for towing. It, uh, yeah, it's six years old, but it works just fine for us. Uh, Ford, Dodge, they all have good options as well for towing. So remember, life is an adventure. And yes, I'll talk to you again soon.